So we're recording from the Kel in downtown McKinney. One year after we were here, we had kind of a strange experience with some flickering lights. He went again, hoping to get the same experience. Yeah, the uh, uh, waiter or manager just told us about a cook or someone who works in the back who... ...said that during the week, when we don't have the downstairs open, that she will occasionally hear the bathroom doors open, back down here and they flush by themselves or they still hear people walking in and out of that of our back door back here and hear footsteps down here and you you can't hear anyone upstairs so it's not like you can hear because there's a six foot crawl space between our second and first floor right so like you wouldn't hear us up there unless you were just hearing the ladder kind of coming down right here right uh -huh. so again like i said i don't know if it's Going up, she said this, and she's here more than I am. So, how long has she been working? She's been working here for a while, like at least five to ten years. Pretty weird. Yeah, and uh, once when we uh, started, uh, when I started coming here with my family, I would feel like someone like like watching me, and there would be no one behind me, and I believe heavily in that kind of stuff. And you, so you feel kind of a pre presence here? Yeah. Well, not anymore, but I, when I restarted I, coming here, I would. Mm. Oh, well. <laughs> Who knows? From what we were told last time, that uh, this building is like, what, 200 years old? Yeah. Yeah, but that it got burned down yeah. sometime in the 1800s. And, uh, and apparently it's, uh, um, electricity is like really finicky here. But uh, it, but I don't believe in the coincidences at all. Uh, and last time, uh, a light uh, went out, uh, and I thought that was really weird. Hmm. Yeah, it was weird. So the light flickered, and then we learned that there was a fire somewhere else yeah. in the square. So. Uh, the lights were flickering here, and then I left, and I was in another little boutique, um, and then all of a sudden when we were in the boutique, there we, we all had to leave the store quickly because there was a fire in the back, maybe the adjacent building or something else like that. Um, so it was, just, it was strange because you and I were just here talking about the history of fires in downtown McKinney, and like yeah. we're talking about it, the lights flicker, I walk over, and then all of a sudden there's a fire. This isn't... Uh, like, this is like two, not even two minutes after leaving. Mm. It was like thirty seconds between each inc incident. Right. It was like. Boop. Yeah. So, like I said, I don't believe in the coincidences at all. I believe everything happens for like a reason. I believe in coincidences, <laughs> but this was, as and far as someone coincidences dies, go, like, this was a pretty freaky one. They'll come to me in, like, my sleep and be like, uh, I've, I'm okay, I'm crossed over, I'm happy now, uh, and, uh, we, so we go to the, we've, uh, semi grown up in the same church, uh, and, uh, our old pastor, uh, retired a year ago, uh, and, there was a lady that had died the day after uh, he retired. And she came, uh, she came to me in my dreams. Uh, we were in our parlor and she had, she told me, uh, she, she told me I'm going to be in uh, where we preach and she just disappeared. Hmm. And wow. And then, uh, and, and then, like, maybe, like, a week after she died or something, uh, it was, like, 2.30 a.m., but I heard a knock on my door, and a l really, like, low tone, Jade, go to bed, and I, and I responded, okay, and then I asked everyone in my household if they were up at, the, at that time, and everyone was, like, I was in bed, so. Oh, man. <laughs> wow. And it wasn't the dog? No. Did go to bed. It's pretty cool. Yeah.